Aloha! Welcome to Hawaii. Today we're cooking with Philadelphia cream cheese. Philly? Philly? Where are you? What are you doing? Are you surfing again? Hanging out at the Tiki Hut? Watching that hula show? Get back over here. We gotta get cooking. These people are hungry. Hello. My name is Melissa Nigro, and today we're gonna be creating a seafood medley ball. Come on over. This is for an appetizer. So if you're running late, this is a great recipe. So you just come home from work and get it all together before the guests come. So let's introduce our cast. Today we're playing with smoked salmon chopped up. This is one can of crab about six ounces. Now these are tiny shrimp out of the can, about four ounces. And over here we have our guest of honor. And we're gonna be using spinach and artichoke Philadelphia cream cheese today. One egg, one spray of scallion, one minced garlic, Here's your beautiful mincer. How fun. I love mincing. If you don't have a mincer, just burn the top it. Now here we have some minced ginger. Then for our flour, store was out of baker's flour. One of the things that happens when you live in Hawaii. So we're going to use a half a cup of cornmeal and two cups of wheat pastry flour. If you don't have it, use what you have. Save some money. Use some all-purpose white flour if you have bread flour. Make use of the things that you have. There's no need to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on dinner. Then what I'm going to be mixing these ingredients with is some coconut oil. I love coconut oil, and I use it a lot from living here. It's a great, great oil. It's very healthy. And then we're going to be adding in some ground salt, ground black pepper, Okay, so that's going to be the first part. We're going to combine all this together. Then we're going to bake these bad boys just for about 20 minutes. After that, we're going to roll them in an everything seasoning. Now this is from an everything bagel. I mix this together. Being from New York, I love my everything bagels. So here I combine poppy seeds, onion, the dried onion, did a little bit of minced garlic in there, and some sesame seeds. Then we're going to be frying in some canola oil. If you don't have it, use vegetable oil. Then when this is complete, I love this sauce. I'm not going to make my own sauce today because I just don't have time. I'm going to use a sweet chili sauce. If you guys can't get this sweet chili sauce, use sauce of preference. And you can create using your theme. You could use soy sauce plenty of different options. But. So here you have it. Okay, so now we're going to combine all of our ingredients in the bowl. I'm going to start with my flour. Doesn't matter how you start. And then I'm going to make a little hole. And then I'm going to pour in my oil, coconut oil, minced garlic, Minced ginger, a can of crab without the paper, smoked salmon, baby shrimp. If you don't have uh, baby shrimp in the can, you just get fine medium shrimp. Cook them first though. Just for a few minutes. One egg. This is a brown organic egg. Use what you have. And now this guy, you've got to get off that lounge chair. He's just been so lazy since he's been in Hawaii. Still delicious. So we're using spinach artichoke. And this just gives it a little bit of a zip. Yummy. And I love this. I love working with the different cream cheeses and the different flavors. And again, they do it for us. I don't have to chop my spinach and artichoke because Philadelphia did it for me. So now we're just going to combine all of these ingredients together. Doesn't need to be super wet. I'm going to stir it. 
stir, and I'll be right Okay, look at this. This is beautiful. This is very colorful. This is great for spraying. We got some pink in there, some green. We're going to add in our salt. I love using Hawaiian salt and sea salt. And some fresh ground pepper. Don't be afraid to use your hand. Get in there. Get dirty. Okay. And now we're going to make a little more. So you don't want it to be too big. Just want them bite sized. Pop them in their mouth. There we go. Very about an inch and a half in diameter. And we're going to fill this dish. And we're going to throw them in the oven at 350 just for about 15 20 minutes so they just start to cook. Okay, so I'll see you when they're done. Okay, so. Our seafood medley balls have just come out of the oven. They baked for about 20 minutes. So they're slightly golden. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to give them a little bit of an egg wash. So take your little brush, if you don't want a brush, paint brush, just paint them. And then what we're going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of our everything seasoning on top. You don't want to overpower it. It's an accessory, accessory ladies. Don't let your accessory be bigger than your dress. Okay. So it's just going to add a little bit of a kick of flavor. So we're going to turn our oil on. And then we're just going to sprinkle little bit on top. A lot of flavor in here. We made about 28 balls. So that's about six to eight people you have. About three or four each. So we have our oil cooking. Now we're going to take them in. We're going to throw them in the oil just for about five minutes. Fill your pan halfway. If you have a fryer, use that. You don't want to over fry them. Now, the reason that we bake and fry is so the baking gets the insides cooked. Because if you fry them, they might just get too hard. We don't want that. We want them just right. Okay, so we're going to put them in here and we're going to fry them up for about five minutes. Right, so here we have them. They're boiling up. They've been in here for about three minutes so far. So we don't want to over fry them. Don't get them too hot. We just want a light crisp to them. Everything tastes better fried. Okay, so they're just about ready. We have our paper towel here on the dish. So we're just going to take these out and just let them drip dry. to taste. Come on over and try this out. We're using our sweet chili sauce. Mmm. This is great. Really good. Now ladies, just remember that the consistency is going to change with the type of flour you use. So experiment and play around. Thank you Philadelphia Cream Cheese. He's still on that lounge chair. Thank you Paula Dean. Aloha. See you soon.